let's take a look at another problem involving stoichiometry. If 0.301 moles of O2 are reacted, how many grams of SO3 will be produced? So in this problem, we are going from moles of O2 to grams of SO3. So we have moles of one compound to grams of a different compound. Well, we can't use the molar mass directly uh, but to, because, you know, O2 and SO3 are two different things. But we do it, so we have two different compounds. So we're going to have to worry about the balance equation because remember the balance equation is the only thing that we have that is going to tell us, get us from one compound to a different compound. So we have our moles of O2 as our starting amount. We need to get to SO3, but we can't go directly from moles of O2 to grams of SO3. We can only go, we can only change either the unit or the compound. So we're just going to change the compound for now. We go from moles of O2 to moles of SO3. After we've got our moles of SO3, then we can convert it to grams of SO3. To get from moles of O2 to moles of SO3, we're going to have to use our balanced equation, which has been given to you here. So that's convenient enough. For the second step, we're going to have to use the molar mass and notice we're going from SO3 to SO3, so we're going to have to use the molar mass of SO3. We want to make sure things match. So let's take a look at how we actually solve this problem. So my first step, I'm going to go from moles of O2. So I have 0 0.301 moles of O2 over 1. So I can line everything up. I want to get to moles of SO3. I want to get rid of my moles O2. I find my values from the balance equation. So SO3, coefficient of 8. O2 has a coefficient of 12. So I can multiply that through. So I multiply that through, and I get... 0 0.200. This keeps going, but I'm going to round based on my significant figures. I have 1, 2, 3, so I want 1, 2, 3. So it's going to 0 0.201 moles of SO3. So that's my first step. I went and crossed that out, so I keep in mind that I I've switched steps. So now I go from 0 0.201 moles of SO3 times. Now, this next step, I'm going to need my molar mass of SO3. Can't just know that off the top of our head. We need to calculate that before we can actually do this step. So SO3, we have, look at our, our, our periodic table. So sulfur from our periodic table has a mass of 32.065 grams per mole. Oxygen has 15.9994 grams per mole. The formula has three oxygens in it, so we're going to be multiplying that by three. So our total for the molar mass is going to give us a total of 80.063 grams per mole. So notice that I've rounded to the same number of decimal places as the least decimal places. So 32.065 is three decimal places. This is four. I'm going to round my final here to three decimal places. So 
We want grams of SO3. We want to get rid of our moles of SO3. So we look at this molar mass. The grams is, is 80.063. And that's for every one mole. So I can multiply that through. And uh, that gives me 16.092663. I've got three significant figures here. I have two, three, four, five here. I always go with the least significant figures when I'm talking about multiplication or division. So I have three significant figures. Two, three, so that's going to give me 16.1 grams of SO3.